Angela Merkel, the leader of Germany, she hails from one of the eastern states. Over the weekend, there were some state elections in Germany, and they have a very different system of government than we do, okay? And I'm still learning it, I confess. But part of the way they do business is you vote for a party, and if they meet the 5% threshold of that party, then you get a certain percentage of the sitting members of that state government. Does that make sense? So if you get 10% of the vote, then you would get 10% of the delegates that serve for that government, whether it's local or state or whatever. There's a new party in Germany, three years old, called Alternative for Germany. There were three states that held elections over the weekend in Germany. The Alternative for Germany, brand new, they won 10% in one state, more than 10% in one state, more than 10% in another, and more than 20% in a third. This has Angela Merkel's party in a meltdown because Alternative for Journey is just, Alternative for Journey is just saying, stop the flood of immigrants, stop. Listen to this quote from one of the English newspapers. An increasing number of public canteens, child daycare centers, and schools have stopped serving sausages, bacon, and ham over religious considerations. Now, member of Chancellor Angela Merkel's CDU party are fighting to keep pork on the menu, insisting the consumption of pork is part of German culture. I'll have to deal with this tomorrow. But think this through with me. There, the, Merkel's people are saying, look, we have to teach German women how to dress so that they don't get raped by Muslim immigrants. We have to take pork off the menu so as to not offend the Muslims. Along comes the alternative for Germany party saying, stop, let's keep German culture and keep this flood of Muslim immigrants out. I've got to talk about this more tomorrow. I'll be back. Hope you join me.